All right, everyone, welcome back to Modern Warfare 2. Season 1 has finally dropped, also with Warzone 2 and DMZ. But in this video, we're going to go through the Battle Pass. With every Battle Pass comes new weapons, comes new skins, new everything. So that's going to go through all of it. We're going to go through all 100 tiers, as we always do. I'm excited. Let's check it out. All right, so here we have the Battle Pass for the first season of Modern Warfare 2. Now, I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit confusing. A little bit confusing. Uh, when I first claimed it and I looked at it, I was like, what in the hell is this? But I kind of think I understand it. So basically, it's a lot like the Fortnite Battle Pass. We have like the different pages that you can go through and you can kind of unlock the rewards in whatever order you want. Um, and you don't have to go to a specific order. To, to Like generally, you don't have to go in a specific order. You do have to unlock like certain rewards before you can get to like certain rewards. But... Um, you can kind of go in in whatever order you want and I feel like this is kind of the same thing It's like you you get this one when you first claim it you start here But once you finish this tier you can choose to go here or here and then you can kind of go in whatever order you want um, From there and whether you want to branch out this way or this way And then when you get here you can choose to go this way or this way So I think that's kind of what they're going for. Um, it's not gonna lie. It's a little confusing and it's kind of unnecessary the old battle pass system was fine, but you know, I can't really hate on them too much. Just trying to do something new, something different, kind of like Fortnite did with the battle pass, where instead of just having 100 tiers like they used to, they changed it to the pages where you can go through them. Um, it's still 100 rewards, there's still 100 tiers, if you will. They're just separated into sections. Um, so we're gonna go through all of them. Uh, I'm excited. Hopefully, this is, uh, this is a good battle pass because I was really looking forward to it. So let's start with the rewards you get for initially uh, claiming the battle pass, which is the Zeus skin. A little bit bulky, but uh, it's not bad. Uh, you get your 10% XP boost, obviously. Then you have your blueprint. Um, that's it's all right. I, I, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna move on. Uh, <clears throat> it's it's okay. It's whatever. Uh, another deagle blueprint. It's okay. It's whatever. Uh, gun screen. Okay, so this is interesting because this is new. I am pretty sure um, to COD. And basically, it's a little screen that goes on the side of your gun. I'll show you. I'll actually show you. I'll go over real quick and show you guys what i mean i don't know why i'm going through weapons like that um so if you go here and you have gun screen there you go see it's a little thing on the side of your gun that um you can see and has like, the time and has uh the dates they're, they're different ones um uh, i'm sure but uh, that one has time and date anyway um and so that's what a gun screen is um i don't think that's ever been in cod before i could be wrong Maybe I'm forgetting one, but I don't think it has been. Um, but let's continue to the battle pass. So first uh, page slash tier, if you will. Uh, you have the Orbiter. That's nice. Black with the uh, wood bronzy accents. I like that. Um, we got the Aerial Entrance Calling Card. Okay. Uh, double XP token. Weapon XP specifically. I'll never be mad about that. Love those. Um, and then a emblem to match the calling card that we just got and the paying rent charm which is burning money which is ironic because when you buy call of duty you're basically just burning your money why can't i see it this is a fun bug there it is jesus um all right let's go on to the next one which way should we go let's go hmm let's go th let's go this way first let's go this way first um all right so we have the barrage skin okay it's not bad it's a little bit it's a little bit bulky but uh, it's not bad. Uh, with double XP token. And then we have another skin, which is just black with the wood accent or bronze accent again. Uh, tactical AF, which is a a large decal, which is a, it just goes really big on the side of your gun. Um, so that's what this is. Uh, you have 100 CP as well. Um, should we go all the way down this way or should we go back and just, yeah, let's go this way. Um, so now we have the dark chariot for the, uh, Jeep. Pretty sure this is a Warzone DMZ ground war vehicle. So there you go. Then we have the knife. It's a nice knife with the wood, uh, handle. It's not bad. Uh, then we have the scaling assassin emblem. It's not bad either. And the gathered gents calling card. Okay. And then the war track, which is Let's Ride. I cannot hear it. I don't know if I want to, because this might be copyrighted. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to not play that, just in case. It's copyrighted. Because um, then it's a pain in my ass. I have to mute a whole section of my video. I went the wrong way. Whoa, she has no head. That's weird. Uh, I went the wrong way. Let's go this way. We just saw that one. No, I went the right way. I'm an idiot. Okay. Can we, oh, can we, go, can we go back? Can we go back what is happening can we load like what is happening here all right deluge this one's not bad this is one i definitely might use i usually use the female skins because they're a lot slimmer 
Uh, I got 100 CP right there. Uh, 30 double XP token, a 30 minute double XP token, and then you got Demises weapon blueprint uh, for the X13. It's a pistol. We got black with the bronze accents again, and the Wave Maker vehicle skin, which is black as well. All right, well. Okay, all right, on to the next. Uh, this is our first new weapon of Modern Warfare 2. We got the Bass, which is an M13 SMG uh, gun, is what it is. If you hear my dog walking in the background, I apologize. Uh, I think he's going to go eat food now, so you might hear him do that too. Oh, no, he's drinking water. All right. Uh, then we have the Scorpion Emblem. That's an Oh, it's a sticker, sorry. Then we have another double weapon XP. Love that every time. World's best Merc weapon charm, the mug. I like that. King Skull Large Decal. That's cool. That's cool. Can we see the actual... There we go. Um, so this is an SMG. So we got an SMG, and I'm pretty sure the other new weapon is a snipe, which we'll see in a second here. Here we go. The XMR. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the Tundra uh, from Black Ops Cold War. Uh, my favorite sniper in that game. Um, then we have the Gunfighter Coffee Company sticker. That's cool. Another double weapon XP. Love that. Shooting target charm. Why is the charms bugged out, man? I want to see the charm. Why is it showing me everything? Mm, show me the charm. Thank you. There we go. And then you have the XM large decal. God, God, come on, man. We play $70 for a premium game and it's all buggy. Um. Okay, so let's go. Do we go here? Let's do these middle three. Yeah. So let's go here. Again, uh, this is the uh, EBR. And again, wood. Okay, I'm going to talk about this because it's already pissing me off and we've seen like four guns. So far, every single weapon blueprint, except maybe the first one, has been exactly the same, except for a different gun. And I mean the skin. It's black with wood or bronze accents. Every single one. And I don't understand why the developers can't get through their heads that as a community, the majority of us, not everyone, but the because, you know, there's always going to be that person that's like, this isn't realistic. I don't want these weeboo anime skins on my gun. I need it to be nice and camoed, like camouflage. Um, and that's cool if you're like that. You're weird, but that's fine. Uh, but the majority of us don't want that. The majority of us, not necessarily want anime skins, but we just want colorful, fun skins for the weapons. And in this battle pass so far, every single weapon skin, except maybe the first one, which was a dark green, has been black with wooden accents. Every single one. Like, what are we, well, like, come on. Come on, what, like, what is that? It, 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 I'm not saying it's laziness, but it feels like laziness. It feels like they just were like, you know what? Instead of coming up with, you know, ten different skins for these weapons, let's come up with one and put it all on all the weapons. That's feel. That's what it feels like they did. And it's like, come on, man. Um, back to back. That's a cool um, emblem. A sniper, hired sniper conquer. That's cool. I like sniping, so I might use that one. It's kind of what I do. I like sniping in every game. Um. With the ignition blueprint again black with the wooden accents this is a little better because has a silver chamber or um the silver what's that called i forgot what it's called is it called the chamber i don't remember and then the gold on the trigger and the the little um handle on the back the cocking handle or whatever you want to call it um and then you have the gun screen this one actually shows kills and assists that's cool see so these are the ones that go on the side um of the gun that I was showing earlier that was the time. And that one's different. So that's cool. Alright, um, so now we go here. Let me get it's gonna be black with wooden accents. I just don't get it. I don't I don't get it. It's MP5. And don't get me wrong, it looks nice because black with the wooden accents looks nice. And there's like one or two, maybe three weapons with this type of same skin with the theme. It's like okay, I get it. That's the theme, and those weapons are nice. That's cool. Not every single one in the battle pass, though. Like, come on, man. Emblem time to strike. Okay, it's not bad. Call the card scaling assassin. Eh, it's all right. Let me guess. Let me take a wild guess on this weapon blueprint. Yep, black with the gold and the black. Well, I, I just have no words at this point. Uh, loading screen down. The, oh yeah, it's, so they, I, I saw this um, last night because I was playing last night and then they already added some of the stuff to the menu. They didn't show the battle pass, but they had like the, the gun screen. Um, uh, option in the customized tab or, you, or the uh, weapons tab you can already see that it had gun screen even though you didn't have one same thing with this you could already see the loading screen in the customized tab um, even though we didn't have any so this is something that I don't think COD's ever had um, usually when you're loading into a match it's the map screen like you just see the map um, it shows you a picture of whatever your map you're going to be playing on now they're actually putting in loading screens that you can put instead so you can see that one loading into a game instead I don't think they've ever had that that's actually kind of cool I don't mind that at all it's pretty cool uh, then we got another weapon or another skin, the unseen. It's not bad. 
It's all right. I uh, got another double weapon XP. Can't be mad about that. Uh, double XP as well. Let me guess about this blueprint. It's a marksman rifle. Yep, black with the wooden in there. Oh, yay. Oh, it's the LMS. I'm just gonna move on. Um, and we have a vehicle skin, full black. Again, it is the ATV, Warzone, DMZ, and Ground War. All right, on to the next tier. So we've gone through all this whole section. Let's start with this one, and then we'll work our way left to right. Um, so we have zero skin. It's not bad. They're making some of these male skins a little less bulky, and some of the female ones a little more bulky. I think they're doing that so that people start using the male skins more, because the grand majority of people, I feel like, play with the female skins, because they're slimmer, you feel faster, you feel like you have a smaller hitbox, and so you tend to use those more often i think they're trying to get people to use the male ones so that's interesting uh you got 100 cp 45 minute double xp uh let me guess shocking uh it's black with a wooden accent uh expedite 12 it's not bad it's not bad it's not bad at all and then you have the company lease vehicle skin oh this is for okay so this is for the sedan i think this is a ground war dmz vehicle i don't think they have this in warzone i could be wrong though maybe they do um all right so now we go here you have reyes that's a cool skin maybe i'll use that um it's not bad at all 100 tp no 30 minute double xp let me guess about this fennec skin yep black with the gold uh with the wooden accent and the gold trigger moving on then we got another vehicle skin and it's also fully black it is the uh, I think this is also a... I think this is more of a DMZ ground war. I don't think that's in Warzone either. Alright. Um, on to the next. So we got those two here. So let's go this way and then we'll go back to the left now. So we have the MCPR. Shocking. It's black with the gold and the wooden trim. And the wooden accents. Alright. And we have a nice nod sticker. It's not bad. The 50 cal charm. I like that. I like the... I There was one like this in... Vanguard? Was it Vanguard or Black Ops Cold War that they also had another one like this? Maybe it's just most of the CODs, but like it. Another double weapon XP. Can't be mad about that. A uh, large decal. It's a Warfighter decal. Not bad. It's okay. It's all right. Nothing crazy, but it's not bad. All right, let's go here. We got 100 CP. Another 100 CP. Uh, we got a 30-minute double XP. Let me take a wild guess about this uh, Vaznev 9K blueprint. Yep. Black with the wooden accents and a little bit of bronze. Okay, I mean, and the gold trigger. <clears throat> then we have the vehicle skin for the uh i forget what this thing is called already i think it's amp is it a it's something with an a at no it's not an atv what's it called amphibious motor vehicle it's an amv anyway uh this is a i think ground war weapon i don't think this is in dmz or warzone i think this is straight up a ground war weapon but again it's fully black as every other skin in the battle pass has been let me guess the helicopter skin yep it's black a little bit of red in there but it's mostly black uh plain sight calling card there we go soul survivor emblem that's pretty cool 100 cp and other war tracks i'm not gonna play because i don't want to get copyrighted why is this on my screen Th hello put yourself okay uh, moving on. Let me guess this weapon blueprint. Shocking. It's black with wooden uh, accents and uh, and a little bit of gold and bronze around. Awesome. Uh, we have the leg day loading screen. Okay. Uh, Corinthian helmet weapon sticker. That's dope. Not gonna lie. I like that one. I, ooh, I like this this charm. I like the little sold sticker. That's cool. I like that. Uh, you have the, the vehicle skin for the boat. Uh, fully black. Shocking. Which is for uh, Warzone DMZ and Ground War. All right. Um, so now we get towards the last part. I kind of want to work my way towards the middle. So we're going to go here. We got the blackout skin. See, they, this is a female skin. Made it a little bit more bulky. I feel like they're trying to get people to use the male skins more. Um, Soul Survivor uh, calling card. It's not bad. The Gathered Gents emblem. Okay. Then you have the, let me guess. The mini box slash PP buys in PPP zone. Let me guess. It's going to be black with wooden. Yep. And the gold trigger. There it is. And then you have the Sweet Dreams finishing move, which uh, you can't preview, which sucks. Um, again, I don't buy the full battle pass. I actually like to earn my battle pass. Nothing wrong with buying it, but I just like having an incentive to go towards. Um, and then on top of loading, um, leveling weapons and getting camos, I also like to level my battle pass. So it just gives me, it feels like it gives me something to really play for. So uh, I don't buy the whole thing. Uh, now we have, did I already go through this? I'm like, okay, what the hell was that about? 
glitchy ass. All right, so we got the payload skin, another female skin. Again, I feel like they're making them bulky for a reason. Um, uh, 45 minute double XP, a calling card that is corner cover. Okay, and then 200 CP. Um, okay, now we'll go here. Let me guess on this blueprint for the new gun. Yep, Bass P. There it is, black with the wooden accents and the bronze and the gold. All right. Uh, catching your loading screen. That's a dope loading screen. Uh, best mark ever weapon sticker. Like that. This is a cool weapon charm. It's the it's a vest on like a little mannequin um, torso, and then you have the dark skin, which is literally a dark skin, huh? dark horse vehicle skin, which is for the buggy for Warzone DMZ and Ground War, and it's fully black. Shocking again. All right, on to the next one. 100 CP. That's a cool uh, loading screen. It's Ghost. Uh, then you have the Tactique Vert. I think that's how you say that. Um, it's a decal. And you have a one hour double weapon XP. Never gonna complain about that. And 100 CP. Okay. On to the next one. Right here. All right. What we got? We got the Warble skin. That's a very slim male skin. I think it's a male skin. It doesn't really matter. It, but it's very thin. Uh, sleek, it looks like. That one, that definitely might use that one. Um, the helmet is a little bit big, but other than that, it doesn't look that bad. Uh, that's a pretty cool decal for the gun. Double XP. Let me guess on this uh, AK setting for you blueprint. It's going to be black with the... Yeah, there it is. Black with the bronze and the gold and the... Yeah, okay. And then you have the War Hall, which is the big truck in Warzone DMZ and Ground War, which is fully black. All right. <clears throat> Anybody shocked on that one? Raise your hand. Nobody raised their hand. Shocking. All right. And now the very last thing you get for completing the battle pass. The operator at the beginning with the gold. I like that. And the brown and the tan. That's cool. I like that. The golden uh, jewelry and the, the mask. And then you have the blueprint for the... See, this is what I mean. Like, why can't they more... Okay. It pisses me off when they show you that they have the ability to do other stuff that's not black with the fucking wooden trim and the bronze with stuff like this. And then they don't. You get one that's different the entire battle pass. And then 300 CP. I, I just... Look, I, after we finish Battle Pass, I always give a grade for my Battle Pass. And usually I'm very lenient on it. I, I think the lowest I've ever given has been a B. Um, but this Battle Pass was bad. I'm sorry. It just what None of the skins are like, ooh, I can't wait to get that skin. I might use, like, this skin right here and, ma and maybe this skin right here. Maybe the this one if I complete it. But none of them are like, ooh, I want to really grind to get that skin. Like, they're not. And then the weapon skins is the same. It's the same weapon skin on all the different weapons. It's exactly the same. It's black with the gold, with the wooden accents and then a little bit of bronze, a little bit of gold here and there. They're exactly the same. The vehicle skins are all just plain black, maybe a little bit of accent color here and there. It's just it's all the same. There's no it's like they got they were so focused on like other stuff in the game that they were just trying to make us sure they had a battle pass and they just put together stuff that like they, they didn't even do much. It's it, it, it reeks of laziness. I know it's not. I'm not saying they're lazy. They're, they've obviously worked very hard in this game. They worked very hard in this first season, but I, I, it just there's there's nothing there's no creativity no nothing that's like cool and colorful and creative and kind of jumps out at you and something that you want to really grind towards like none of this isn't like worth really grinding for like this skin is nice and you have to finish the battle pass to get it and i will because i play enough that i'll finish it whether i want to or not but it's just like why and now the this is freezing on me awesome but it's just like why why is it that Every single, like this one, like I said, this one's the one that, yeah, I would like to grind and get that. But I don't really need to try that hard to grind and get it. But also, why is it that there's nothing else in the entire battle pass that I'm like, oh, I want that? Nothing. Literally nothing. There's no weapon skin, no charm, no calling cards, which usually are just filler anyway. There's no vehicle skins, no operator skins that are like, oh, that's really cool. I want that. N not a single thing in the entire battle pass. As your first battle pass in Modern Warfare 2... You should be trying to hit, start it off with a bang, not start it off with a meh. I think meh is being generous, to be honest. It's really disappointing, because I was really looking forward to having a night, like some fun stuff to grind towards to unlock. Other than the new weapons, just because they're new guns, there's really nothing else that I'm like, oh, I want to grind for that. I like that. I want to go out and like, put in the time to grind. Like For me, specifically, it doesn't matter that much, because I'm gonna grind. I play enough that I'm going to get through the battle pass anyway regardless because i play enough time and enough hours i put enough hours in the game that that's gonna happen anyway but there's the casual got people out there who don't they like they would have to choose like oh i really want that i'm gonna put in the time to get that if they want to and then you don't even put anything in the battle pass worth it and then on top of that on top of that the battle pass used to be 900 cp or nine dollars and now it's 1400 cp it's 15 dollars 
You made it $500 more, or $500, $5 more expensive, 500 CP more expensive, for a, honestly, and it, I hate to do this because I'm, like I said, I'm usually one that's pretty lenient, I'm not going to be harsh, for a garbage battle pass. I'm sorry, it is. It is. It's just not a battle pass. I'm not saying the skins are bad, they look nice on the guns, but it's the same one on all of them. Like, and, like, I just don't understand it. Like I said before, like, you, 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 you say you want to listen to the community and you want feedback from the community, but they give you feedback that they want better weapon skins. They want more colorful weapon skins, cooler weapon skins, animated weapon skins, which I, I understand if you don't want to put every single one animated because it kind of takes away the little, like, the, the, the shine of it because they're all animated. So, but, but at least one or two animated in the battle pass. You did it before. In this battle pass, we get no animated skins, no like cool blueprints that are like, you know, you had like the one that was like a, a rocket ship, and you had one that was like, I get it, you don't want to go over, you know, too crazy. Fine. Fine. I get it. But you did nothing. It was, they were all just black. Black with wooden trim and a little bit of bronze and gold here and there. Little sprinkles of it. Like every single weapon. I just, I don't get it. I usually give a grade at the end of this. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to give it a D. The, the the only redeeming quality of this battle pass is the double weapon XP tokens and double XP tokens. Literally, it's the only redeeming on that one M4 at the end. That's it. For that reason alone, I'm giving it a D and not an F because there's at least something from it. But it was very close to being an F. If to me, this is a D. This is a D. It's just it's not a good battle. It's very disappointing because. On top of that, you make it confusing, and then on top of that, it's more expensive, and then on top of that, it's not good. Like, it's the triple whammy. Like, if it was like, oh, it's a little confusing, but at least it's le it's the, you know they didn't make it more expensive, and the the rewards are good. No, you you did the triple whammy. You made it more confusing, more expensive, and then the rewards are shit. I just I don't understand it. I don't. It's disappointing to be honest. Um, I like the other updates they've made through the game, like the UI uh, updates, or not UI, but like the um. I guess it is a UI, like with the the in-game UI, like with the stuff you see and and um, the colors in-game. They made them better, and the, the game feels smoother, and they made some changes that I do like. But the battle pass has just been completely disappointing, and it's really sad because I was really looking forward to having something fun to grind towards and some fun stuff in the battle pass, and there really wasn't any of that. I think the best things in the battle pass were some of the charms, <laughs> literally, and that's kind of crazy because usually those are just filler. Um... But yeah, that was the battle pass for the first season of Modern Warfare 2. Sorry that it wasn't a more cheery end to that, but it's just disappointing. It really is. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Nonetheless, if you did, make sure to drop a like. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that little not notification bell. I post pretty much every single day. Leave a comment down below what you thought of the battle pass. Uh, if you agree with me, if you, don't disagree, if you don't agree with me, that's fine. Just leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the battle pass. Personally, I found it disappointing. Um, thought it could have been a lot better. But um, you know, it is what it is. We're stuck with it, I guess. So uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.